Hello, dear friends. My name is Pastor Dale. And have you ever wondered why is good things come to those who wait and also show patience? Sometimes we want to rush and make things happen when we want them to happen. But God is calling for us, his people, to put in patience, the fruit of patience. Let's take a look at what the fruit of patience looks like. Now, there are two Greek words they translate as patience in the New Testament. And those two words are hupomone, means a remaining under, as when one bears up under a burden. It refers to steadfastness in difficult circumstances. And then we have macrothumia, which is a used in Galatians 5.22, is a compound form by macros, long, and also thumos, passion or temper. Patience in Galatians 5.22 literally means long temper in the sense of the ability to hold one's temper for a long time. The King James Change Version translates it as long suffering. A patient person is able to endure much pain and suffering without complaining. A patient person is slow to anger as he waits for God to provide comfort and, and punish wrongdoing. Since it is a fruit of the Spirit, we can only possess macrothumia through the power and work of the precious Holy Spirit in our lives. Patience comes from a position of power. A person may have the ability to take revenge or cause trouble, but patience brings self-restraint and careful thinking. Losing patience is a sign of weakness. We are patient through trying situations out of hope for a coming deliverance. We are patience with a trying person out of compassion. We choose to love that person and want what's best for him or her. As the Spirit produces patience in us, He is making us more Christ-like. 2 Thessalonians 3 and 5, it speaks of the patience of Christ. Christ is even now patiently awaiting the completion of the Father's plan. After Jesus had offered for all time one sacrifice for sins, he sat down at the right hand of Father God. Since that time, he waits for his enemies to be made his footstools, according to Hebrews 10, 12 through 13. Now we should be patient, even as he is patient. God is patient with sinners. Romans 2 and 4, it says that God's patience leads to our repentance. Romans 9 and 22 points out that only God's patience prevents him from destroying the objects of his wrath. Paul glorifies the Lord for his unlimited patience that saved him, the worst of sinners. 1 Timothy 1 and 16. The Peter highlights the patience of God in 1 Peter 3 and 20, pointing out that God had immersed patience with the evil people of Noah's day, delaying judgment as long as possible. You can read this in Genesis and 8. Today, our Lord's patience gives people time to be saved. 2 Peter 3 and 15. Be patient and not to complain as we wait for Jesus' return. James holds up the prophets as models of patience. James 5, 7 and 11. The Old Testament prophets ceaselessly spoke God's word to unheeding and abusive audiences. Jeremiah was thrown into a cistern, according to Jeremiah 38, 1 and 16. Elijah was so worn out from his fight with Jezebel that he wanted to die, 1 Kings 19 and 1 and 8. And Daniel was thrown into a lion's den by a king who was his friend. Daniel 16, you can read this in Daniel 6, 16 and 28. While God delayed judgment, nor prophesied of the coming destruction in, in, in 120 years, did not have a single convert. You can read this in 2 Peter 2 and 5. The opposite of patience is agitation, discouragement, and a desire for 
revenge. God does not want his children to live in agitation, but in peace. John 14 and 27, you can read this. He wants to dispel discouragement and replace it with hope and praise. Psalm 42 and 5. We are not to avenge ourselves, rather, we are to love others. Romans 12 and 19, and also Leviticus 19 and 18 speaks of this. God is patient, and His Spirit produces the fruit of patience in us. When we are patient, we leave room for God to work in our hearts and in our relationships. We lay down our schedule and trust in God. We thank the Lord for what and whom He's brought into our lives. We let God be God. Please pray with me. Father God, please forgive me of all my sins and save me. Fill me with your precious, powerful Holy Spirit, the spirit of truth, and empower me with more patience to be able to move with you and not ahead of you. We pray all these things in your majestic, mighty name, your Son, Yeshua HaMashiach, Christ Jesus. Amen, amen, and amen. God bless you, my friends. And I look forward to seeing you next time. Have a great day.